Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have a canvas workspace project for you. I was inspired to make this from a die and the demonstration of this die by Tonic Studios. I saw it on Create and Craft TV and while I was watching this demonstration I just knew that I had to give it a go myself using Canvas Workspace and of course my brother Scan and Cut. I'll insert a picture of that die here. Here is what I came up with. This is my version of what I've called the Love Heart Frame Card. It was very straightforward, easy to do, and quite satisfying to know that I could recreate something that I had fallen in love with. Of course, this is just the basic die itself, so however you want to decorate it, the uh, additional layers, inserts, whatever you like uh, for embellishments will make it uniquely your own. And here's what I came up with. This is my finished card. It might be a bit difficult to see with this mirror card, but I put that over top of it, I'll be able to point out some of the additional things that I did, such as these cutouts here, these geometric shapes, which are cut into the mirror card as well. And then the hearts, I've added a frame around them. And then behind them, I cut out another heart that had these cutouts in it. And this was from a pattern that is in the machine. I just manipulated it a bit uh, to get it to fit inside of here. And then I put some also some uh, paper piecing in these corners to continue this paper. So, if you'd like to learn how to do this, then stick with me, and I'll show you how. I'm going to show you how you can make the base for this Love Heart frame card. And then it's up to you how you want to embellish it. If you want to have inlays and overlays, whatever you like. I'll give you the basic shape. And then I'll leave all the decorating, of course, to you. And I'll show you, of course, my finished version. So the first thing we need to do is to make a frame. So that means bringing in a square that we can turn into a frame. We'll make it a rectangle. And we're going to make it 5 by 7. So let's change... These values by taking off the maintain aspect ratio and turn it into a landscape 5 by 7 card. So it's 7 inches wide and 8 inches high. Now to make the frame, we need to have an offset line. And I'm using the download version of Workspace. So with a shape selected, come down to the offset function and choose a size for your frame. I'm just going to use a random number of 2, 8. I'm going to have it inward, and I want it beveled because I want sharp corners. If you want rounded corners, then by all means, select round. But I'm going to use this as my frame. So if I give it some color, You can see that it is indeed a frame now. However, it still has this rectangle attached to it on the inside. So we need to remove that. You've got two options. If you still need that rectangle there, and you don't want to have to draw another 5 uh, by 7 minus 2 5 <laughs> inches, then you can simply divide it and... You can remove that piece now. 
So that is 6.45 by 4.45. So if you need that, by all means, just do that. If you don't, however, you can simply use the subtract process overlap and it will punch it out for you. So now all you're left with is indeed the frame. But you can see the grid lines behind that. So you know there's nothing there now. Right, the next thing we need to do are to place some horizontal and vertical columns for the hearts to be suspended from and uh, welded to. So that I'm going to go back to square. And I'm just going to resize it. I think I made mine somewhere between 0.14 and 1.5 so that they weren't too small and yet not too big as well. So just something like that. And pull it up like so and then just place it where you want it here. I think I had mine at about one and three quarters, so I can do that. Placing it on the X, Y axis. At zero, zero. And then I can place this at one and three quarters. I can type in under X, 0.75, and then I want that to overlap the frame, because I'm going to need to weld it, so just as long as it overlaps there. I'll make another copy of that, so that I can have another piece that is about there. And then this one, we're going to bring it all the way down to the other end of that frame so that those pieces can be welded in place. We can go ahead and do that now. I'm going to process overlap and weld. So this is what we have so far. Next is to place the horizontal frame. So they are going to go into this last panel. Back to square. And we can make that also. 0.15. Like we did the others. And then... Just make sure that they're going to go across here like this. And then you can decide how you want to have these. You could have them equally spaced, or you could do like I'm going to do here, where I had one there, and then I duplicated and had another down here. So I had a little bit bigger box here. However you want to do it, it's up to you. You could measure that out and decide you want to divide it equally or just have it random, like so. Then you would highlight that, go to process overlap, and weld that. And now you're ready to put your heart into place. For the heart, I chose the plain heart. You can choose a fancier one if you like. I just used that and then I also squished it up just a bit so it wasn't as pointed and then came in pretty much just eyeballed it where I wanted it. I want to be sure that it's going to be welded to this column here and over here as well. So 
I can just come up with it like that. And that's going to well there. Or I could shorten it like that maybe. Again, that's up to you where you want that to be placed. And then I'll make a copy of it. One copy that's, I'll use that for a mat and then I'm going to duplicate it again so that I can make another heart that is going to be welded to this heart and to this part of the frame. And I'll make this one a little smaller. I want it to overlap here on this column here and still overlap this one. Bring that down a bit. Like so. And then I can have that down to the bottom there. And have something like that. So, you want to also make a copy of that. We'll place that off to the side. I am going to pick another one because I'm going to have a tiny little heart here. I'm going to place next to my love sentiment. You don't have to have that, however, if you don't want that. Just place it to the side till we decide. Now, for the love, I selected the font called French script, I believe it was. Let's see. You can use, of course, anything that you want. I'm going to use French. Yes, there it is. I think that's it. French script. I believe that's it. Yes. Right. And then it's going to go down here in this area so that it'll be welded to the frame. that. Maybe come up over a bit like that. So I'll get those letters to weld together. And that is a matter of dividing it first. Right, and this is a little different we have these sections here that we really don't need so we can get rid of that delete that and we'll delete just those little bits there that one's okay and now we'll get rid of that and then we can put this back together so we can weld that to there and we'll have this come in here like so like that I'll line them to the bottom. Got to come over just a bit. Let's see what we have so far. Oh, 
there we are. Words of love. So, as I said, that's going to go in this bottom left corner. You like that. And then I've got that little heart. Also going to attach somewhere around there. Then I want to make a copy of these. I'll duplicate those. And then now I can go ahead and weld this to the rest of the frame. I zoom out you can see there is your frame completed now when you cut this out you're going to have this wastage you're going to have this and this all of these and of course down here now what I've done is to inlay this with a sort of geometric pattern but you can put whatever you like in there. You could have flowers, you could have circles, you could just have, uh, you know, any pattern. You could have more hearts if you wanted to in there. It doesn't matter. You could not have anything in there as well and just use your pattern paper to perhaps um, paper piece it. You could just lay this over top of a background uh, paper and use that to fill these parts in or as I said you could just paper piece them in so you could have maybe even different colors different patterns whatever you like but it is that simple to do so for these what I've done is I'm going to bring these to the front and I'll give them some color Going to go ahead and weld that together just for now. Well, actually, I won't because I want to cut. If I want to cut this out of a different uh, cardstock, I would want to do that separately so I can always just do it that way so it's on top. If you wanted to, you could have a drop shadow as well so you could place your letters off to the side like that or like that however you want it or you could just have it completely over top and cover it or you could come down in you could offset that a little bit and make a another version let's try this we'll do inward go down to 0 0.04 and then you could have this instead so we can give that some color you could have that in there in case you want to punch that out. Oops. I like that and get the center of that O out. There we are. You can have anything that you want there. So I'm just going to go back to my original. Then you can either bring in your hearts to mat over top of these like that, or you could, as I did, do an offset line. I did an inward offset line. Something like 
this and then put that on top. Do the same with this one. Don't want to move those out of there. have those separate or in my case I actually decided to weld them first I line them up so that they would fit right over that base piece and then I welded these together and then I brought in some other um, inlays and just put those in. I've got, a tr I selected like two or three different patterns and just chose one of those. In fact, I can show you that. Here are some of the choices I had. Various leaves and flowers, roses, etc. And then those were just placed on top. So again, that is all really up to you if you want to even bother doing that. So decorate it how you like. And in the next part of this video, I'll show you exactly what I did come up with. So, hold tight and I'll be right back. I've cut my cardstock at 10 by 7 and then I'll score it at 5 inches. This is part of the Hunky Dory Adorable Scroll Ball range and it's a 300 or 350 GSM. It's very strong cardstock. I've scored it at five and I'm going to put it up here in the corner. Just fold and burnish that so that those edges are straight. Now if you are cutting out the frame as I showed you in the canvas portion of this video, this is what you should have. Something that looks a bit like that depending on of course what sort of font you chose or the um, the heart that you chose it would look very similar to this I hope you can see that all right because that is a mirror cardstock and so it's quite reflective and I'm going to actually place this directly on top of my card base rather than have any kind of matting or any backing paper but I'm going to use, of course, the one that I made for my card, and that's this one. So, as you can see, it is the frame, but in these portions here, I've actually inlaid and attached these little geometric shapes there. So, I can put that there. Then I've got the frame for my heart and then for the inside of that will be this and that's another piece that I've just cut out a pattern inside of the hearts and then there were little like flowers here that were that left large apertures so I decided to paper piece that with the same paper that I used for the, the frame 
you can see on the back there, all I did was just glue those on the back. And then of course I've got my love sentiment, which is from the same paper as the frame and that's going to go on there. So let's get these put in place. also have these pieces that are left from the cutouts, which I can place in there. Bring in a few of these little flat back pearls. I'm going to just stop right there. I think that looks lovely. I hope you can see that all right. Now it's quite reflective. If I move it about a little bit. That is the Tonic Studios inspired Love Heart frame card. Thank you so much for joining me today for this Canvas Workspace tutorial. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, that you'll do so today. Thank you again, and don't forget, please stay safe and crafty hugs. Bye.